Show me your true form. Oh, hello. Um, that is an old alert, but thank you to Twitch for giving it to me nonetheless. Uh, hi, how's it going? We're continuing S.H.I.E.L.D. today. It's another rough one for me today, so it might be another kind of short stream. Um, I've had a long week. <laughs> Which, um, you would think, since barely anything has happened, it would have been a very long week. But that is exactly what makes it a long week. I am a wrong, wrong save. I am struggling <laughs> to find literally anything work-wise. And it's really disheartening. And I'm really tired. I didn't sleep particularly well last night. That's probably a huge part of it. But, you know... We're trying. Doing our best, nonetheless. Anyway, uh, we left off beating Melanie and Sir Chester, so now we have to go to lunch with Sonia. Or Sonia, sorry, Sonia. And I think. That's our agenda for now. Yep. Got that gym bag? Chaos, nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. I've been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day and Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Wait, hold on. No way, what's this? A new chapter in the old Galari legends? The heroes look sad, and where are the sword and shield? What was the meaning of this picture? Uh, is it kind of sealed? You think so? I guess it could be that they were sealed away. Or maybe they've gone into some kind of sleep. Based on those statues we saw back in Stone Inside, the sword and the shield were actually two Pokemon, right? That's right, that's my take on it at least. You remember the Pokemon we met that day? Do you think it could have been one of them? Either the Sword or the Shield Pokemon? Oh, I'm on my wrong. Show me your true form! Good lord, is that just gonna happen every single time I switch? Anyway, uh, you met them? Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right, Chaos? You slumbering well? Will? Exactly. The mad Pokemon we ran into in the fog. Don't you think that could have been it? Oh, that's right! You lot have been in the slumbering wheel! I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You've got to tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on, what do you want to eat? Let's get our orders in. Fascinating. Alright, the next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around service. Let's inspect the hero's back. I'm going to jump right into it. The heroes path. They see this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's path, though. Hmm, who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think I'll have to look into that. You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the summer. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. What, like some hero waving around a sword and shield? Pull the other one. Though I'd guess if I'd fancy a sword if I had to take my pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show it here? I was thinking we can pull off a real heroic battle. Yes, baby. Sonya treated us to a great meal. After that play, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle with the way. I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might as well see what you can do. I'll heal out your Pokemon for you, Chaos, so give it your best. Time for the little exhibition match. Sorry, you can't just do it. Yeah, me too. Let's go. 
still can't even beat you, my true rival, but I think I'm starting to see the light. Thanks! You two gave a right proper battle. At the rate you both are going, even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into things in this fun I'm going to keep you challenging that gym. Then, once I get that gym badge, I'll be heading for Route 9 to take on Spike Leon. Seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Leon worry if Pop was in killing that right. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? See ya. I need to double check poisons type matchup. Poison is weak to ground and second. So I might focus some efforts on Mandar. some raid battles and shit out of my system. And then I'll go to Route 9 to get to Spike Do I have to go to Route 9 or can I just go past Route 7? Is what I want to know. Because if I can avoid fucking Route 9 again, I would be absolutely delighted. <laughs>
candies in the outside. Evolves into Malamar starting at level 30 when leveled up while the game system is being held upside down. Okay, um, hi Bubba. I'm gonna grab my switch real quick. <laughs> We're gonna have to take it out of the thing so that Mandark can evolve. Uh, give me just one second. Okay, so I've got my switch in hand. It wasn't working just holding the screen upside down. I'm going to hold the whole damn... Th I'm going to, like, plug the controllers back into it and hold the whole damn thing upside down. And hope that works. Um, God, this is a fucking... mess. Okay. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. <laughs> nope. He's still not evolving. Okay. Um, let me see. How to evolve in K in Pokemon Shield. After leveling up in battle or through EXP candy, rotate the console upside down before ending the battle or closing the dialogue. Um... God, Jesus. This is really hard to remove <laughs> maneuver. <laughs> I'm gonna try one more rare candy here. I am holding it in my hands. Okay, there we go. I got it to work. All right, let me put this thing back in the dock. Like, good lord. <laughs> okay. We've got a Malamar now. And, uh... I have focused some efforts on leveling him, so... He should be fine. I don't think he knows any psychic hit moves, though. Okay, let me see. Okay, it is very quiet now. But hopefully that should fix it. I'll also turn up my mic just a tiny bit. There we go. 
Okay. Okay, excellent. Uh, we need to get him learning, like, a psychic move. Because that's what's gonna get us through. And, um, win us against Pierce. Do I have any psychic... I do. Why can't you learn either of the ones I have? You son of a bitch. Okay. I can get them inside the Pokemon, so mic up a bit more. Okay. How's that? Is that any better? <laughs> the music in the wild area is just like really fucking loud. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I turned it way down. That does it. And then let me mess with my Twitch settings. No, it probably is on my end. Oh god, I'm beeping it. Okay. Oh! No? Hello? Girl? It is, um... It was taking audio from... Okay, it was like, Twitch Studio was treating the game audio like an audio source for some reason, even though I said it to not do that long ago. <laughs> but uh, now it's taken from the capture card program like it is meant to, so we should be fine, and it should be causing significantly less issues. <laughs> Yay! Alright, now to try and find some fucking shit for our psychic type to learn so he can actually use psychic type moves. Uh, I'm here to buy. I'm here to purchase. Fuck you. I'm here to purchase. Fuck you too, my dude. God, it's a little bit crunchy. Hang on, I'm gonna restart the program. Your three-year-old nephew just barged into your room and asked what you- Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> your three-year-old nephew just barged into your room and asked what you were doing and pointed at your Halloween movie poster and said, Ah, scary pumpkin. That's adorable. Like, genuinely, that is so cute. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then change the capture window to that, and we should no longer have issues. Okay. Somewhere in Hammerlock. Eh. Okay, there we Yes, I am in the market for TMs. Thank you. I ain't gonna buy Psychic Terrain. 
I'm not gonna fucking do it. Oh well. It's fine. We'll just have to carry on. I'm gonna go through Route 7 to get there, I think. You require tacos and other Tex Mex food stuff? Hell yeah. Nice. I had Lunchable Nachos for lunch. I'm gonna give that a no. I'm not doing that shit. I didn't mean to click on my camp either. Um. Oh god. Hey, buddy. Lunchables are not as good as I remember them being as a kid, but... Oh my god, let me leave. But you know, they're quick and easy, and they're good enough. I ain't gonna turn up my nose at a Lunchable. Same thing with, like, kid cuisine, if you ever had those. Those were the shit when I was a kid. And now, like, I don't know if they make them out of lower quality ingredients or what, but I tried having one, like, a few years ago, and it sucked. It was not very good. <laughs> and that makes me sad. Like, I want for kid cuisines to be good. I miss them very much. I don't want to have to navigate this route again. I hate it here. Always got the one with the brownie and the mac and cheese. Same. I wonder if they still make those. I should try and find them. Just to uh, give them another shot. See if they've upped their game at all. Hi, Haunter. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, I get fucked. Fucking Christ. Christ alive. Now I don't want chicken nuggets though. I should get like a bag of them. Christ alive. Okay, I'm meant to pass through Route 9 to get there. And I've somehow wound up on the direct opposite side of where I'm supposed to be. I don't know how I did that, nor do I want to know how I did that. I'm just gonna have to be ashamed of myself into eternity. God, Jesus. There's only one way out of here. It's, there's only one exit. Where do you fucking want me to go? What do you fucking want me to do? I assume... The right exit would be on the right side of town if I'm supposed to be on the right side of Sir Chester. Toward the right further down. Oh. 
Yep. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> Hang on. I gotta add something in here. I am just the master of getting lost. Oh my god, Jellicent, hi. I love Jellicent. It's so delightful when you're looking. And it means so much to me. Um, I'm gonna bounce at it. Go, little kick ass, go. I love Pokemon that are caught in areas where they are damaged. By the environment. Like, it's just funny to me. Like, buddy, are you in pain every moment of your life? Ouch. I like Jellison, I think it's neat. Like I would love more water ghost types. God fuck you. Oh no. Dead. My hubris killed him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Little buddy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh god, little kick ass, I'm so sorry. Oh no. <laughs> to get my girl Vulpix in here. Rest in peace, King. You lasted so long. Like, genuinely, I am impressed by how long that starter stayed alive. Only to be killed by a wild jealousy. I'm upset. <laughs> oh, you know what? Nobody needs healing. We might as well continue. Big Daddy, you're in charge now. I feel like we need to avenge little Kickass. So next time I see a Jellicent, we'll kick its ass. Oh, hi. Kill every Jellison. Every single one that I see will die by my hands. <laughs> From those pink rock bugs. Wow, I really wish I had a fire type that was sufficiently leveled right now. Hang on, I need to spend an inappropriate amount of time doing a bit. Let me see. I need an image of a female Jellicent. There she is.
and then Like, I made it so far only killing my stupid dusk clubs. Okay, there we go. And then edit. Add layer. Image. Add. And choose an image. I'm narrating this too, so you know I'm doing something. There it is. Let's put that on the top there. Right where the gelatin is on this wallpaper. There we go. Good bit. I did it. <laughs> A bow awesome, eh? Well, lucky for me, I still have an ice type and a flying type. Alright, let's go. I might run into the wild area and do a couple more nice raid battles just to get some levels into Vixen. And then I need to Google how to evolve it. Because it's either... Okay, Firestone. I don't know if I have any. I might have to find one. <laughs> Good luck with your laundry! I didn't even pay attention to how Melis health is doing right now. But it's fine, because I got it done. Okay, I will... As soon as we get to Spike Muth, I'm going to, like, turn around... Okay, we should be fine. As soon as we get to Spike Muth, I'll turn around and uh, run to the wild area and find out how to get a Firestone. There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spike Muth, and that means we can't let you go on Route 9. It's Team Yell's duty to cheer on these lovely dreadnoughts, and we also get to stop people from heading out over the water. Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that I can make it so that em Rotom Bikes can ride on water. Why, we met again, my young gym challenger friend. Remember me? I gave you that bike. So do you think you could do me another teach favor and teach these ruffians a lesson or two? It's our duty to protect little- It's our duty to protect Dreadnought. And that means you're gonna need to give up on the gym challenge. It looks like you need convincing, so how about a Pokemon battle? Alright, fight me. Welcome back. I'm about to get the ability to fucking ride my bike on water. Uh, okay, we're fine. Which means I'm gonna get a Firestone and also do a Max Rate Battle or two for Vixen's sake. Get it at least up to the mid 40s or so. Try and catch it up to everyone else. And go. Uh, I think it's a fighting type. Ninetales is kind of dope. I've always been really attached to the Veltix line. I'm a, actually a Vulpix in my current Explorers of Sky phase. Not to brag or anything. But I passed the personality quiz.
It would have been really funny to me if it died of being buffeted by the hill. Through a syndical and explorers of time. Really, really good. Um, I think I was a skitty in explorers of darkness. I'll have to like check again. It's been a, like a long time since I opened it up. I should play um, a mystery dungeon game on here sometime. Gosh, she's gonna ride the dreadnought. Oi, I've got an idea. We can get on Dreadnought first and ride it away. Alright, get a move on, Dreadnought. See you later, Gym Challenger. God, Dreadnought is important. Seems you've come to my aid yet again. How's the cycle in life been treating you? Are you having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your Rotom bike on water, too? That's why I'm gonna add these special powers, allowing it to travel along the water surface just for you. Thanks, man. All right, all right. With the Rotom Bike Water Mode, you'll cruise across the water like a Pokemon with Swiss Chin. By the way, when you're riding on land, we'll call it Land Mode. I do have it. I uh, got it like the day it came out, right before the pandemic hit me. It was like the last thing I did in public, I think, for like a long time. I used, I worked at um a Best Buy right before the pandemic, and I picked up a copy of Mystery Dungeon DX on my way out, and that was the last thing I did before I was locked inside for two years. Would not recommend, it was not a fun time, but at least I had Pokemon and Emma. And I met all of my friends. So, all things considered, it could have gone worse. Without the pandemic, I actually might still be living in Michigan, which is wild to think about. So, I guess it did do me some favors. All things considered. Never really had a quarantine because you work food service. I just quarantined despite working retail because uh, my mom is high risk and I have multiple little siblings and I didn't feel comfortable riding the bus in those conditions. So I stayed home and uh, was on unemployment for a while. And I uh, got, in, got a job again, started taking classes in person again when I got my driver's license last year. It is really wild that that was only last year that I got my license. This is a fucking sickness hot, but they sure fucking are. I do not feel comfortable riding them at all. Why is this Mantike so fucking hard to catch, by the way? Like, what the fuck? Buses are petri dishes on the wheels. Alright. Fuck that. Whatever, let's just keep going. Ah! Hello! I do like me some whalemers. Have I ever added sour cream to my refried beans? I actually don't like sour cream or refried beans. So I can't say I have. But like, it's a com You're valid. It's a combo that my uh, brothers eat on tacos frequently, so I assume it's all right for those that can appreciate either. Uh, 
I usually eat my tacos plain or with just cheese, to be honest with you. There we go. God, now I want a taco. I haven't had one since I moved. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are a lifesaver. I got so sick of tacos because my mom made them so frequently and now I would give anything for one. Hi, buddy. What do you want? Not sure how high my tolerance is for nonsense at the moment. You're level 50. <laughs> I'm out of here. Ah, oh, fuck me. Why hath God chosen to make things unreasonably difficult? Alright, I need to heal that man dark. I don't need another death right now. Oh, I do have hyper potions. I went through that entire fight with Hop, griping at myself for not having hyper potions, but I had them the whole time. This water is infested with wrestlers. It sure fucking is, man. Alright, I'm gonna guess that you have water types on you, so... Oh, you have a Toxapex. Okay. My girl just sniffed her Pokeball. I'm gonna try another strategy then. Let me see. Sweet to psychic, electric, and ground. Uh, don't have anything on me that would be immediately useful for that, so we're just gonna go with old faithful. Big Daddy is the new main character of this let's play. He's the only son of a bitch I can count on. Haha, <laughs> good bug. <laughs> Let's try out a crunch. Oh fuck you, that was so quick. Shell chips. Is there any greater joy in life than getting chips and having them not be stale? This thing can go fuck itself. I hope this Toxapex dies. Oh, Big Daddy. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> Big Daddy! Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. 
I've never been so afraid in my life. Alright. Huxapex does have a very high defense stat. I mean, yeah, defense stat, but like... Piece of shit really knew how to dodge a move at exactly the right time. Oh, go fuck yourself. This is nonsense. I'm gonna laugh if the hail takes it out before Big Daddy can. If you knew that my Gyarados was going to die because of the actions of your Toxapex, would you still do this shit to me? Or would you be a little kinder? I'm tempted to just let it die to the hail. But I should probably put some work in. God, I hate this thing. Fucking nonsense. That is not nearly enough XP to deal with that nonsense. Alright. It's fine. It's fine, everything's fine. Anyone else remember when walking damaged something that was poisoned? Love how the text below the screen is pointing to the Toxapex and calling it a stupid idiot. It's true. The Toxapex is a stupid idiot. I can't under Spike Mus, so I've just been standing and can hanging around here this whole time. No one can challenge the dark type leader. I forgot he used dark and not poison. I thought for sure he used poison. What's with this gate being shot? How am I supposed to get the gym badge now? Hey, Chaos. Okay. I recently learned about a competitive strategy where um, you used a live card and a pearl line, and it was like apparently completely unstoppable. Go fuck yourself. called dive cats. Get fucked, you dumb purple cat. <laughs> Don't give up, little buddy. Come on. Okay. I was born here, so I know another way in. If you want to get into the town, how about I show you the way? But you're my rival, so you also beat me in a battle first. Uh, give me a second. God, I am within reach of the Pokemon Center. It is so close to me, I can smell it. I don't... I have a full field, that'll do it. Or do I have, like, any berries that would have the same effect? Paralysis poisoning, there we go. Yeah, okay, now I'm good to battle you. You've had a pretty good win streak in the gym challenge, just like me. I respect you as my rival and all that, but I got too much at stake to go around, and lose, go around losing now. 
She is the character design ever. She's adorable. I can never get enough of her. Where did all my superpowers? Why is it all gone? She is transgender. There's no getting around it. Toxic By the way, I just want to brag about it. I finally finished the regional decks in Brilliant Diamond. I caught them all. And I'm so good at video games. And I'm going to start reading for Shinies next, I think. Reading for Shinies and trying to get my favorite to level 100. As is my typical ultimate goal. Nah, don't wear extrasensory. We only learn fucking moves that cause damage in this house. Marpeko's gimmick is so much fun. I love its little farm changes. And now it's baby again. You hate that Marpeko had killed your dotler named Zim? Well, maybe Zim deserved to die. I'm sorry, that was mean. Uh, let me... I don't know Dotler that well. Oh my god, it's just a little guy. But it is a psychic type. Which is weak to dark types. <laughs> As expected of my rival, you really know how to get me riled up. This is like the farthest I've ever gotten in, the, in a Nuzlocke, to be fair. To be fair, it was like 10 levels higher and had a high defense stat. You thought it could take it? Well, I guess you thought wrong. <laughs> Poor Zim, man. <laughs> They made type matchups like a little bit insane in recent games I've found. Like they do way more than they used to. I don't know if it's just me that that happens to, but... Oh, oh Zim, no. Fuck me! Okay. Okay, Marnie. I don't like you anymore. We, we had such a good track record. Marnie. That wasn't that scary, you son of a bitch. 
Avenge her, Big Daddy. Avenge her. I understand how you feel now. Um, I hate that Scrafty. I hate it. Very much. All right. <laughs> I guess we're getting Marshmallow back. My partner Morpeko has been interested in you and your strength and I think I get it now, but I've got everyone in Spike who's supporting me. I'm definitely gonna get all eight gym badges just so I can have a rematch with you. Don't you forget it. I'll get my revenge in the Champion Cup. I hope you die. Anyway, I promised I'd show you a way in, so follow me. I hope your big brother dies. I hope he gets into, like, a horrible car accident on his way to watch you in the, ch in the Champion Cup. And you have to live with that guilt for the rest of your life. You know what? Veronica's better leveled. We're gonna have to pull Veronica in. I hope you never recover from the trauma. I hope no therapist can do anything for you. Anyway. Ooh, level design. Wow. It's so cool looking. Veronica, you recently watched the Heather's musical. How'd you like it? I ha the Heather's musical has a very special place in my heart. Excellent. I love JD. I love Jason Dean more than I probably should. And like, in case you wanted to know how horrid a person I was in my- in like, late high school. Uh, I had somebody break up with me in my senior year that I really liked. And, um... The fuck you then? And my breakup song after that relationship was meant to be yours. So, like, <laughs> I was a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> like, I could tell that Jason Dean was a horrid person, but, like, at least I wasn't bombing shit. Oh, yeah, I can go to Giant's Bed. Meant to be yours, Candy Storm, beautiful, all fucking slap. You're fucking right. I used to know every single word. I think it's Lake of Outrage that I need to go to. I used to know every word of, um, Freeze Your Brain by Heart. On that giant smear. Get out of my face, you horrible little creature. I don't like Doug Trio. I think it's ugly. I said it. Alright. Where? <laughs> please don't worry, I trap, please no, thank god. Yeah. This visibility is shit! How am I supposed to enjoy your fucking game design if I can't see it? I'm griping. I, d I do like- I do like Sword and Shield, I promise. I enjoy these games. Obama Snow is delightful. Anyway, it's time to be absolutely disappointed, soul-crushingly disappointed. I think Fairy is next. Okay, time to be absolutely soul-crushingly disappointed by our teammates. Let me see if I have anything with a poison or steel move. I know you don't, Mandark. You're basically useless in battle. I don't know why I'm trying with you. 
Uh, you know Axe and Arla, but that's not gonna do us much good. I think we're gonna have to go with Big Daddy, just because he's our powerhouse. They need to improve, like, the AI on the, uh, random trainers it sticks you with. Oh my god, it's Clefable. I might have to grab this one, actually. Dessert is pumpkin spice yogurt pretzels. Fuck yeah, that sounds good as fuck. Hell yeah, thank you. What would I do without you? big boy, even if he's not doing quite as much as I'd like him to do. I really want the randomly assigned rain make him stronger, yes. I am really going to need people to stop. I'm not a dragon picture dancer. To stop giving me the chick with the halucha. I know this is like a male trainer, but in my mind it's always like just it is usually the female trainers that get stuck with the haluchas in this game, and that is just how they will always exist in my mind. expected here. To be honest, when you stick with the Halucha in the max rate balance. Holy shit though, that wishy-washy is insane. Wishy-washy sweep real. I should pick up Moon a little bit and mess with the wishy washy. Yeah, I'll catch it. Why not? I am beginning to develop an appreciation for wishy washy. to name her Wanda after the fa Fairly Odd Parents character, as is my god-given right, I think. It's the hair swirl. I just watched a video essay on the Fairly Odd Parents, so I deserve that. I'll give you the medium EXP candies, and then Veronica will get the large one. Yeah, sure, you can learn flame Flamethrower.
And then you get the big one. It's really funny to you that you named her Wanda and killed her with a Gyarados. Epic best plays Nuzlocke reference. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I assume it's funny. I trust you to be funny. Yes, like about rage. Tell me about it later, please do. I would love to learn. Hey. <gasps> I love Glaceon. I love Glaceon. Please be within my level range. It is not going to be my level range. I'm not sure what level I can catch up to right now. Let me Google it. Pokemon Shield level caps. Level cap for gym. Most recently did Melanie. Oh, I can capture Pokemon up to level 50! So just barely outside of my range. Really cool. <laughs> I'll come back for it. I'm just here for these. Next time. There we go. Should I wait until it's healing again? Yeah. I could always just like. I could always just grab an Eevee and grind that, but eh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, we got our nine tails. Tempted to go get a storm right. But we'll do it another time. There we go. Uh, hello, sir. Lucian and Vaporeon were always your favorite. You're valid. I adore uh, Glaceon, Sylveon, Vaporeon, and Umbreon. But Glaceon is like at the top by a long shot. When I moved up here, um, Matt and I went to build a bear. Because we were trying to find the Mirabelle dress of Encanto fame. And we did not find it, but there was a Glaceon at the Build a Bear, so we got super sidetracked on our errands and made it. And it is my special darling. A little cape and everything. It's high fashion. I'm not interested in your zigzagoons. I don't want any. Take my number off your list. I haven't been to Build a Bear in years. You had a koala dressed as Batman. That's adorable. I had um, a little pink cat for a long time that I could not sleep without when I was baby.
Her name was Princess, and one time my little brother like took her and hid her, and I couldn't find her for hours. I got really, really upset, and I like did not sleep at all that night. And then my parents finally found the damn thing and grounded my brother. <laughs> And that was the last time they ever cared about the level of my brothers. But that's neither here nor there. I also had um, an elephant that my grandmother got me for my first birthday. That like had her a voice box with her voice in it. That still worked last time I saw it. Alright. Wig. He more fucking weirds me out. Sorry for fucking over everyone else on the team. Build a bear voice boxes work for a surprisingly long time. These sure fucking do. That thing is like more than 20 years old now. And it still works fine. My whole computer froze. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. What the fuck was that? I'm gonna investigate my task manager and see what could be causing me problems at the moment. What's using up my disk space? Nothing I can turn off. We're just gonna have to deal with it. That's very nice. Come on, wishy washy sweep. I believe in you. Please use liquidation more. I am literally begging. <laughs> well, that's dumb. Unicorn your aunt took me to get and you dressed it up in an orange and green ballet fairy dress. She put a voice box in it that said, Squeeze my guts, squeeze my guts, I love you. That's a actually like super cute. <laughs> um I think the one my grandma got me for my birthday said like Happy birthday, Nana loves you, happy birthday to you. Uh I think that's what it said. I, it's in a box at my parents' house. I'll have to find it next time I visit them. Let's focus our efforts on fixing for the moment. And then I think that should do us for the moment. Let's head back to Spike Myth. Not to Holbury, thank you. There we go. No, dear God, no. There we go. Oh, I can't. I can't even fly directly into the town. Wait. Uh, let me see.
Okay, I didn't mean to run directly out of this place, but it's fine. Um... Oh, he sure does specialize in dark types. I've like... Oh, he's also voiced by one of my favorite voice actors in Twilight Wings. But um... What a surprise to me that he doesn't use poison types. Huh. I've like gaslit myself this entire time. <laughs> I'm a fool. That's yeah, fine. What we got will still work fine against him. I saw that he uses Crafty, which is a fighting type, so let's get Big Daddy out here. I'm pretty sure there's another at least dark adjacent one. I could be wrong though. Like, not so much a dark type gym leader, but I thought Alola had like a dark type. whatever they're called. Trial Captain? Let me see. Trial Captains. Nope, you're right. Maybe it was a Kahuna? Yes, there is a dark type Kahuna, Nanu. The shutter closed, nobody's gonna be able to challenge the gym. I gotta look into this. I just happen to have too many of these, so I'll give you one. Got it? You can handle yourself, right? They had one of like every type you think, but Pierce is the first like traditional gym leader that is dark, yeah. You're right. You're right on that front. <laughs> And there's no dynamaxing in this one, if I remember right. Gym Challenger. You want to get past me, but I don't want that. Basically, it's a battle between our desires. Challenged by the team Yell Grunts. When the Un. designs are fun. They're probably the weakest of the teams in my onion, but their designs are good. Boy Grunt uses URL. You're so valid. to run to the Pokemon Center. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, go fuck yourself. You and your Pokemon broke through! Yeah, get out of my way. I'm a, I'm a force to be reckoned with. I got blue hair. Yeah. Fuck, I need, I need to run to the Pokemon Center. I got blue hair, I got pronouns, I'm unstoppable. the wedge for station slowpoke. Thank you. Alright, time to continue on.
Anyone else want to bother me? Yep. No? Uh. Alright. Can you, can you ask your Mr. Mime to move, please? I have a fucking level 100 Mr. Mime in my main save that I leveled purely because he was the highest level of my Pokemon that knew Hypnosis and I needed him for the legendary battles in the DLC. That is the only reason he... Alright? That is the only reason I've kept him. Chairman Rose Voice, of course you have blue hair and pronouns and want to stop my evil plans. Yeah. I think Chairman Rose would definitely take issue with me being a filthy leftist as fucking rich as he is. Why is their feeble bed and my feeble sub dads? Yeah, sure you can learn ice beam. I'm waiting for you to ask me to learn a good ice move. I'll check out your neon signs. Yeah, get out of here. You ever think about how Ash's mom fucked that Mr. Mime? Like, can we talk about how Ash's mom is currently involved with the Mr. Mime? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding, man. has shown up recently. <laughs> I, I need to like have a tangent here about Ash's mom and her Mr. Mime. Uh, let me see. Cap capture my Google search. Thank you. Like, she brings this thing with her everywhere. Look at it. Its hand is on her thigh. I haven't even seen this one because I haven't kept up with the anime since Brock left. <laughs> okay. Do you think it's ethical to date Mr. Mime? I, I think as long as it's sentient, she can fuck it all she wants. Anyway. <laughs> she fucks that Mr. Mime. Do you, which like begs the question. Do we think Mr. Mime is Ash's dad? Like, do you think Ash hatched out of an egg that Mr. Mime gave to his mother? Because I would like to be a proponent for that. <laughs> Mr. 
<laughs> my was a humiliation fetish as Mom Johnson and your brain stopped working. I think that's like the only correct response to that sentence is to just not process it to protect yourself. Like, I think if you think about that sentence for too long, it'll destroy you from the inside out. But it's objectively correct, right? Anyway, this is my hot game theory. Um, Ash is the son of his mom and Mr. Mime. And that's why he's been 10 years old for, what, 26 years? 25, 26 years now? I really need to stop talking about his mom fucking Mr. Moon. Like, for everyone's sake, I think I should just shut up. <laughs> you see that look he gave me? <laughs> He's like, I, I hear what you're talking about and I need you to stop. Also the fact that he survived a blast from you two. That explains it too. Like, he's, he's a Pokemon. So he can't die from attack from another Pokemon. He's half Pokemon. That's the only- he's a mor- he's basically immortal. Like, he can't die of old age. He can't even age very far. He can't, like, die from a blast from Mewtwo. He had, like, a status effect in the first movie, too, that he was fine afterward. Does this mean Ash has an evolution? His evolution must be him as an adult. And he hasn't gotten there because he needs to, like, be a decent trainer before he can actually level up to the level requirement. Dude, I'm sorry for making fun of your son. God. He needs to actually win a gym team league challenge. He won a challenge. I think it was the Alolan one though, so I don't think it counts. It has to be like a traditional league challenge. It's like with Malamar, you gotta do it right or you ain't gonna frog. You're right. It's either like he needs to win a gym leak challenge or he needs to like have his birthday upside down or some shit. I think it's a fun Pokemon. Alright, time to fucking turn around and heal again. Because I wasted so much pee pee doing that shit. Can I use my bike? No. I just have to like take this walk the full length every time I want to backtrack. Yes, I'm aware. And I promise you as long as you're not forcing me to do the whole thing over again, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Oh. 
Alright, carrying on. I was playing Legends Arceus yesterday, and while I was doing it, I was actually watching, like, a video on Ash's worst League losses. And I thought it was, like, kind of... The, like, analysis this guy did was, like, interesting as well. Team Yell is made of spike with gym trainers. I had no idea. Wow. Oh, you really got me with that twist. I've played this game before. <laughs> you watched the premiere of Ghost Files last night? I have seen it, actually. I thought it was fucking hilarious. Um, the bit where, um, Shane was, like, talking to the spirit box while Ryan was interpreting it actually made me laugh so hard that I started crying. So it gets, like, a singing endorsement from me. I have been thinking about what was your dog's name, Steve non-stop for the past, like, day. It was so fucking good. I, like, really liked, um, BuzzFeed Unsolved, and I was really bummed that it was over, so I am thrilled that they're still doing it. Or, like, roughly the same thing. It makes me- it made me want to rewatch some old BuzzFeed Unsolved episodes, to be honest. I might do that later. This map might be working late tonight, so I might as well, you know. <laughs> Hope they revisit Goatman and his bridge, same. I also hope they revisit the Island of the Dolls. That place is like absolutely fascinating to me. I also. Speaking of Shane and Ryan, I have, um, I have a Garchomp. It's not a Garchomp yet, it's like the pre-evo. Like, the middle evo of that evolution line. I have one named Apple Tater. Shut your gob. Oh, chaos. I'm really s- Garbite, yeah, that's the one. The lot from Spike Must telling me they locked down the city for my sake. Spikemo just keeps getting worse and worse, and all Pierce says is don't worry. So, so we decided to s disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other pl players. We thought if we could stop the other gym challengers from reaching the gym, then Miss Marnie would be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. And we figured that it increased the chances of our, our wonderful Miss Marnie becoming the new champion. That's no way to help someone at all. Hey, yeah, there's no need to bother with all the preparations or whatever. Go in and face the gym leader. Probably get some HP boosts in here. There we go, that'll do it. 
And I would also like to save my game real quick. The absolute lack of singing really makes this for me. I like him. I think he's neat. But the fact that, like, we have a cutscene with his lips moving dramatically and he doesn't even fucking sing really takes me out. So you're finally here, huh? See, I'm- I'm not really a great gym leader. Figured that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax our Pokemon, but well, I still hope you enjoy the battle. Now then. I'm the gym leader of Spike Moon. Here's the dark type user. You want to challenge me even though you know you'll lose? Then this song's for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike move, it's time to rock. Challenge by Jim Leader See the concept art where Milo is shortening and fierce is fucking dark at levels if he's that tall. I did not, but I am fascinated. Pierce being kind of tall like doesn't surprise me though. He's got tall boy vibes. find out who's Malamar is superior today. Is this a stupid idea? Oh, definitely. Am I doing it anyway? For sure. I'm like five levels ahead of this bitch, so... Welcome to Foul Play Simulator, where we just use Foul Play at each other back and forth. My Malamar is superior. And, uh, let me check Obstagoon. I think that's the that's the final zigzagoon that they created for this game. Yeah. Malamar is cool. You ever think about how Malamar canonically has had a hand in multiple atrocities in the Pokemon world? Because I think about it. I think about it pretty often. Like, how much of the Kanto War do you think this guy fucked up? Alright. Four. You had an Inke in your mean as luck and you were so excited to see it evolve and then it got killed by a Rebombi. Oh no! His name was Calamari. Oh, fuck me! Huh? 
will remember Calamari. And we will also remember and mourn Moon Dark. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh dear lord. Haha, 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 just like There's so many more protection moves in this game, it's kind of annoying. Dragon Dance, I think. I don't usually do stat increasing moves, but we might as well. Come on, Big Daddy, don't want me out. Give this smelly thing a bath. That's annoying. Alright. It's fine though. Okay. Absolute bullshit nonsense. There we go. Alright, we got it. <laughs> Me and my team gave it our best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. I'm glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. Dramatic ass gay boy. Here's your dark badge. Pierce is definitely like trans and gay, right? Like there there's no way around it. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 55. Alright. He and my lower cute, you're right. That was actually kinda sweet. So you were watching, sis. You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. It's how I learned to battle and all that. Is that right? That reminds me. Marnie, there's something I wanted to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here in Spike Muth as its gym leader. Yeah, I know. You'd plan to retire after the Champion Cup, right? I think you've really become a great gym leader, even if you don't Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you, but my answer is a big fat no. I mean, when I end up becoming champion, I won't be able to be, able to be a gym leader. Good point. In that ca case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to be champion. Hey Chaos, thanks for having an amazing Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next, so clear off for a bit, okay? Alright.
Hey, there's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad even the camp champions come to sort things out. Oh hey, you gave Pierce a thrashing, didn't you? You should have head over there to help. Come on then, I'll show you the way. Can I have a minute? I can? Okay. I, I need to put Mandark in the graveyard. Kaboom. Chaos, thanks for coming, but I got a handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the goal. And for you, that's winning the gym challenge. The only gym badge left is the one you'll get from Dragon Team's leader, Dragon Gym's leader, Raihan, right? Raihan's the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know? And here I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time for me to be stopping for a chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it, but don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. I came from the tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems I'm about to have a champion time. <sighs> okay. Goodbye, Mandark. We had three entire deaths today. It's a little disheartening. Def grind the fuck out of your pokies before you fight Raihan. Oh yeah, definitely. Especially with like how I've kind of been set back a couple steps. I probably should. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna like spend a little time in the wild area for now. I might do some grinding off camera. I'm not entirely sure. In my main save, I like did not use any of the EXP. Now I can catch that Glaceon? You're right! I'm coming for you. I can use that bad boy against Raihan. Because it's a nice type. That I can hit sometimes. About 10% of the time, I can be counted on to think ahead. Hi. Can I help you? It depends on what level you are. No. Fuck out of here. Alright. Okay, I guess it doesn't want me to pick up any items. That's fine. And it is still healing. Great. Fucking wrestler. Right, where are you? Come to me. Come to me. Please. You were here earlier. I'll take an assault vest, sure. God, I hate Avalon. Show me the Glaceon. I want to end the stream with this. I want to have something make me happy today. Oh god, where did you spawn? Oh my god, Rochi despawned. Dear lord, please. I need to like beat up a couple things just to encourage more spawns, because I will. I'll beat up a Glowlurk, I don't care. Okay, 
it's good for me to beat up these Pokies that are higher level than me. Get some nice EXP out of it. It's gone. It fucking died. Uh... Oh, you know what? I could do that. Dirty trick, the Lord. You saucy boy. Yep, get fucked. Yes, please do learn out air slash. Oh god. <laughs> I did I didn't realize I was thoroughly surrounded. Thank you! I've been- I- I feel like that one meme of the girl surrounded by a bunch of men. Like that's how that interaction just made me feel. Pains me to say this, but I am think I am going to have to give up on the place on for now. We might have to like, yeah, we're gonna have to just like move on and check and see if there's hail next time. But uh, thank you so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you had fun. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up here. Uh, God, nothing is working right now. If you want to join my Discord to get stream updates and schedules and shit, uh, there's the link to that. And thank you so much, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Stay safe, stay cool, and stay out of trouble. Goodbye.